Have you looked at all of these cool manifestos? Have you seen them on the internet and thought, wow, I would love to do that, but oh, it looks too complicated. I'm not good at InDesign or Photoshop. Well, guess what? You can create your own manifesto to get you focused and inspire you, and it's really easy. I'll show you how. Hi, my name is Angelique from BrightSpark Media and we're going to look at how to create your own manifesto. So you might be wondering why you'd want to create a manifesto. At this time of year, we're all full of resolutions and goals, so I thought I would do something to inspire me, to gain focus and clarity in my business, to kind of look at who I am and how I can help my clients, and something that I could use in the About Me section on my website or even on my LinkedIn profile. So I started out by using PowerPoint. So I just opened a blank document. I like the horizontal format, so I'm just going to leave it the way it is. And you could use Adobe Photoshop or InDesign, or you could use something free like PhotoFlexer or GIMP, anything that allows you to just put on text and change the colors. Most of you will have Microsoft Office, or you can use Microsoft Works, I believe, is the free version that you can download if you're on a PC. So I'm using a Mac and I do have the full Microsoft suite. So if you've got Word and Excel, you probably chances are have PowerPoint as well. First of all, I just took all of my ideas and did basically a brain dump and just started typing things out, just used text boxes and just started typing all these words, think of power words, things that make you inspired when you're thinking about your own business or if you're doing it for personal use, things that you want to accomplish. I will do this this year. Um, I can do this. And just start dumping your ideas in sentences or even sentence fragments just right on the page. So that's what I've done with this section here. Then I picked one key statement and this is the one that I wanted to make the main statement from my own manifesto. I am the hero of my own story because for my own business it wouldn't exist without me. So it's a lot about personal branding and how can I help my clients. So I decided that this is, this is going to be my main statement. So after that I just started kind of playing with it. So just changing to a different font you know, you can use whatever fonts you want. There's usually loads of them installed. All I have to do is select it. I just double clicked on it or you can do select all. Like that. And I just chose a font. In my case, I chose Century Gothic. I like the the font there, but you can choose from your whole drop down menu. And then I started playing with it because I knew I wanted to make it the central theme. Let's see, I'll just do something like this. And of course you want it to be bigger. Control A selects the whole thing. And then I just played with the size until I got it the right size or something that was approaching full size on my page. Okay, that's starting to look better. Then I thought hero would be the important word, so I decided to bold that. So Command B if you're on a Mac, or you can just click on B up here. And since my website colors are orange, I thought, okay, that makes sense. That's the color that I want to use as um, one of the highlights. And then again, like I said, just keep playing with it. And this key here, you can stretch it out to take up the whole width of your text box that you've created, but I don't like it in that case. So let's just go back to this one. And then eventually, I ended up with this right here. So this was my final main statement for my manifesto. Then I moved on, added some more of the text in, and in the next one you can see I started adding some colors in, I changed the spacing, and sometimes I just put in an extra space. I didn't actually use the alignment and spacing up here. Sometimes I would just add an extra space to make it look good. Then 
And the next one you can see I've started adding more like this one up here. Um, I went from the previous one which was just a sentence and I knew that serendipitous is the word that I wanted to make bigger. So you can see I've gone over here. So these ones, these words are 22 font and this is just bigger and made bold. So that's 39 and I just played with it until it fit across the whole width of the page and just kept going. Like I said, with these ones, I just, you know, as I was going, I made different words bigger. This is 35. These ones are 18. And I just played with it until it fit in the whole text box. Now this one here, this one was a little different. I knew I wanted me to be hor um, vertical. So I just started playing with it something like this. Use that distributed spacing. Then I hit enter, thought, oh, okay, that's getting to be more what I wanted. And then I just changed the size until it was right. And then you can see it over here is the finished one. So this is my finished manifesto. And um, I hope that was pretty easy for you to do. Like you saw, a lot of it's just a creative process. Just keep playing with it until all the words on the page fit. Don't let the fear of getting started or of people judging it stop you from doing it because when I first thought oh I need to find a template for this or oh someone who's in graphic design is going to criticize my font choices and oh those colors don't go together you know what this is for you so go ahead get started just do brainstorming and write everything down on a piece of paper if you want or set it up like I said in Photoshop or in PowerPoint and just get started and just start playing around. And this is my finished manifesto. This is Angelique from Brightspark Media. Thank you for joining us in this tutorial video, how to create your own manifesto.